In this video, we're going to talk about HTTP cookies. Sometimes we call it internet cookies or sometimes just simply cookies. So what is a cookie anyway? Is this something we eat? Popular rice is the favorite food of this high profile blue monster. Nah, cookies are data stored in our web browser. We're going to talk about cookies. It's history, benefits, and types. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am your cloud data center rock star. On this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So, Feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. HTTP Cookies History is first invented by a web programmer named Lou Mantuli in June 1994. Together with his colleague John, Gianandrea, they wrote the initial Netscape cookie specification. Its first use is to check when visitors have already visited Netscape website. So before, it's only for Netscape. Then it was integrated with Internet Explorer in October 1995 and granted patent in 1998. You know what happened next? All other web browsers start using cookies. The concept of cookies is very simple. When you visit a website, you will download data stored in the browser. This data includes images, text, and cookies. So the next time you browse the same website, the website would have an idea who you are. That's why sometimes in e-commerce websites, they can tell you which item you have already checked or visited. HTTP cookie types. First, we have the session cookie. This is used to record your online activities since websites have no sense of memory. And without these cookies, your site browsing history would always be black. This helps you maneuver through the internet by remembering your actions. Websites would remember your activities until cookie is expired. Third-party cookies, also known as tracking cookies. This collects data based on user online behavior. When you visit a website, this third-party cookies collects various data that are sold to the advertisers by the website you visited. They track your interest, location, age, gender, search trends, it collects information so that the marketers can provide you with these custom advertisements. These are the ads that always pops up. These are the ads that always irritates you wherever you go. Aside tracking and stealing your information, cookies can also be used to maintain server session. This is what we call persistent cookies. It remembers and implements those preferences the next time you visit the website. It's type of persistence where we create a special cookie and it is inserted by the application delivery controller as it sends a response back to the client. This special cookie contains information such as selected server. HTTP cookie persistence. When a client sends HTTP requests the first time, it will be received by the application delivery controller through its listener, which is called virtual server or VS. It will be processed depending on which feature is enabled. And in this case, it will do load balancing. Let's say it choose the first server. Next is the server one will process the request and reply back to the application delivery controller. Then the application delivery controller will insert a cookie as it sends the response back to the client. 
and the next time the same client sends HTTP request to the same virtual server, it will check the cookie and it would know that it has connected to server one. The application delivery controller will skip the load balancing as it maintains the connection to that specific server, server one. And why do we do this? For efficient server connection handling. Applications may perform better and faster as it continuously reads cache information on that specific server per user session. So that is the first part. We cover different types of cookies and the concept of cookie persistence using F5 Big IP. On part two, we will access our F5 Big IP configuration utility and I will demonstrate how to enable cookie persistence. I will show you how to decode cookie information and secure it using cookie encryption.